We want to walk you through a timeline now of the most significant events. The attack began as Israelis were wrapping up a seven day Jewish festival. It started early Saturday morning with that attack on Israel. Air sirens went off at 630 AM in Jerusalem and Tel Aviv as Hamas fired more than 2000 rockets into those cities at 7 AM. Hamas terrorists attacked a freedom festival near the Gaza border that Kale was just referencing. At least 260 people were killed there, mostly women, and several more were taken hostage. At 10.30 a.m., Israeli fighter jets struck back in Gaza, hitting Hamas strongholds, bringing down one high-rise you see right here. Prime Minister Netanyahu soon after announcing Israel is at war. Then at 5 a.m. yesterday morning, at least 30 Israeli police officers were killed in the fighting, mainly in Shtorot, a place where we have reported from on the ground in the past and where Hamas gunmen took control of the police station before Israeli defense forces took it back. Amid all of the numbers and the statements from world leaders, it is fundamental not to lose sight of what is happening on the ground. This attack marks the single deadliest day for the Jewish people since World War II and the largest attack since the Yom Kippur War 50 years ago.